Welcome back guys to the, the ASAP Automotive channel. For those of you that are, this is your first time tuning in, we are working on the LSTJ. So we've got our AC bracket assembly on now and all that tightened down. So with this new kit that we've gone with, your normal belt tensioner mounted right here on these two tabs. Well, now clearly you can see that it needs to be relocated. So part of the Holly kit that we got, yours might differ a little bit. Now there's like five different water pump setups or accessory setups with these, these LS Gen 3 motors. If you get the Holly kit, they do great. They give you a nice, you know, I don't know, five or six page, eight page or whatever booklet in there on all the different things, what to use with what. Our application, all we needed to do was use this spacer. Uh, some of them require an extra washer in there. This, we're good. We just need the spacer. So what we're going to do here is, let's go ahead and put our shorter bolt mount right here. The other one mounts right there. We'll get those started. And we'll go ahead and we'll get those tightened down, and then we'll go ahead and move on to moving our putting our AC compressor in. One thing I did want to go over, guys, real quick that we did um, we didn't get it get in the video uh, last episode, but we went ahead and put these steam ports on. This allows a little bit of crossover ventilation from the uh, the heads, and we didn't motion. I think motion race works, and I think a few others makes a. Um, a nice four point kit to connect all these we might do that later on but for right now for the sake of cost and simplicity we just went ahead and went with the factory setup and these two little block offs back here and it's just a simple little gasket with an o-ring in it and just a little 10 millimeter bolt and or 10 millimeter headed bolt and that's it so cleaned up our surfaces put those on nothing really to that so like i said we'll go ahead and get and put on our ac compressor next and go from there and so, you know, feeling nostalgic with these, but so like I said in, the, in the, one of the first episodes was we're going from this style AC compressor here, which mounts down, which is the one I said, you know, you got to hack up the frame and all that. We don't want to mess with that. So we're going with this R4 setup, brand new compressor that'll bolt right in to this bracket. So really simple. Just make sure you got it clocked right. Your, your little connector here for your clutch. Should just bolt run it right there. You notice these little metal inserts, same principle as we had on the alternator bracket. So let's start all our bolts first. <coughs> and I think I need to clock. Yep, I gotta clock one more. Okay, so as for the rest of this, yours might vary a little bit depending on what setup you go with. But for ours, we've got these two different pulleys. So we've got our tensioner or new tensioner on there and in, in the new location so our smooth pulley goes right on here we got the bolt in here and it's got this collar so you want to make sure that the pulley sets up on it right you can see that and then just run your bolt in here and then we'll tighten that down and then the last pulley you got is this grooved either pulley same thing slides up on the collar make sure it's on there right and then just tighten it down and then we'll have to figure out with the bracket setup we got uh, I think Novak gave us the number we'll have to look it up but and then we'll get our serpentine belt on so so with part of you know getting make sure we've got everything on the motor we're gonna go ahead and put our spark plugs in yes it would make it easier rotating it around later with some of the flywheel stuff with not having them in but it's easier to go ahead and put them in while you got it out here especially with the headers on and it's really not that hard to spin the motor over if we need to. We can just put a breaker bar or something on the front crank bolt and rotate it. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and put our plugs in. So we went ahead and bought or used the actual AC Delco Uridiums. And because that's what comes with these things. And, you know, Uridium plugs last a lot longer. They'll do great and be perfect for the performance level we're at. So, yeah, one thing you'll never see me use in this shop anywhere is an auto light spark plug. Never been a fan of them you know maybe in a lawnmower or something but maybe back in the day they were great but way too many issues use a quality plug especially the higher the performance you go so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these in you can see my high-tech handy dandy fancy 
spark plug installation tool it was actually I think out of like an old Nissan Sentra or something the plug wires they go down in with a dual overhead cam set up I just pulled it out works great for starting but the last thing you want to do is cross thread one so just make sure you're getting started and you run them down that way and then just repeat the steps and we'll go back through and snug them down then we'll work on getting our brackets on for our coil packs and get our coil packs on plug wires and then we'll probably go ahead and start laying our harness out okay guys so this is what happens you get a little ahead of yourself you get a little excited so we were putting all our we got our spark plugs in we got our plug wires on we got our coil brackets and our coils on and you know we had the coils off was cleaning them up a little bit clean the brackets up so they're not you know so dirty and dusty and I totally forgot harness wraps underneath the bracket so we got to take our brackets back off no big deal just a couple of bolts lay it out fish the harness around and plug them in and we're good but happens to the best of us man you get you get ahead of yourself and you start messing up so take your time okay so now that i slowed down and took my time a little bit got all our harnesses fished in and everything plugged in so we're good there got our coil brackets back down we're, these are just temporary plug wires that came with it we're going to end up changing them out uh, we were just for if anything for just looking pretty and having a fresh set of plug wires but given the headers that we ended up using that uh novak recommended and, and it's no big it's not them or anything it just happens with headers we're gonna end up having to run a set of uh i think 35 degree or whatever they are this is actually the, surprisingly the only one that hits so uh so we're gonna put a new set of pretty you know plug wires on there anyways to make it look pretty so but one of the next things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mock up our engine mounts and like i said it's a lot easier to go ahead and put these on so these are the mounts that we got from Novak, and we went with their welding style we're dropping in the ls which you know I, the the build quality here is awesome they did a great job i mean it's got a little bit of surface rust we're going to sit down it's been really humid and rainy lately but that's no big we're going to clean that up so this is actually what <coughs> mounts on the this will be the passenger side mount and you know later on <clears throat> later episodes we'll show you as we set the engine and all down in about setting these up but pretty much your frame rails right here these will go down once we figure out where we need them we'll weld them up prime them and then paint them so we've got that i've already took this bushing off here and then these to kind of give you a quick visual and these out when i'm diving everywhere <clears throat> bolts up like this so there's another washer in here that goes actually yep goes right in between there <coughs> goes on the outside so put this in there and this washer goes on that goes on and that's roughly what it looks like and this bolts right up to the block so i did this outside here of course i'm gonna take this back apart to mount them back on there's three different positions and Novak will tell you this there's no real exact science you got to play with it to figure out where it's going to sit make sure you got your good two to three degree angle on the motor and all <clears throat> so right now we're just going to kind of hand tighten these on the block in the center location so when we get later on get the get the drivetrain out of it and set this down in all together then we can play with it as we need. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and mock them up. That way, they, we don't have to try to put them on while we're crammed in the Jeep. So, no, this is not a Black Mamba. This is the harness. This is actually the harness after we had it sent off the Novak. This is um, the one that come with the actual motor. You see here, these are your connectors for your PCM. And what they did is they integrated a bunch of stuff to where... It really makes it near about plug and play. There's a couple of wires you got to run, but and they, they give you, you know, all this literature to go with it, tell you, you know, tips and tricks on everything, you know, because each jig's a little different depending on where you want to hook some wires up. But this was definitely worth the, the way to go. Um, you know, really wasn't that much to send it off to them and have them do all this. Well worth it. And they even did, um, did a bunch of stuff with the computer itself. Um, to get us set up for this so bang for the buck it was a way to go rather than try to spend hours doing it all ourselves which could have done but so what we're going to do here now is go ahead and start laying this out efficient it all around the engine bay and you know as we do we'll go over different little things that we're going to do since we're putting it in the jeep so let's go ahead and get this thing laid out 
So this is a beautiful mess that you end up with once you start laying out the harness. So we just kind of put a few key points here with some of the ignition connections and stuff like that and just kind of laid it out to kind of get a reference. We still got a couple of questions we got to get figured out with the harness, but for the most part, that's where we're going to end up today with all the accessories on, all this stuff in the harness. And we'll go, we'll go into a lot more detail with the harness once we get it in the engine bay, and then we can start laying everything out. We'll go a lot more in depth there. But for now, that's where we're gonna end up, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This project is such a blast. We love doing this. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you got any other questions, comments, always feel free, you know, to, to give, give us a you know, little bit of feedback below, positive, negative, whatever, we don't care. So, but until then, guys, remember, stock is not an option.